All right, hey, Shalom, Akiam. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praises to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, Bashim Rekha Kodash, double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. We are the Hebrew Israelites, which consists of the Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, Simul Indians, West Indians, and Haitians. According to the Holy Scriptures, we're God chosen people. Uh, double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. And much love, honor, respect to all the Akiam out there, enduring sound doctrine. And um, out there uh, te teaching uh, the truth to our people, try to wake up the elect, because we know we are in the last days of this so-called white man power structure. All right, and um, our kingdom is is very nigh at hand. Now I was just uh, surfing through the net, and I saw this new trailer just came out. I don't want to. Uh, I'm afraid to play because I don't want to get flagged. They might uh, flag because copyright infringement, whatever the situation might be. But you brothers can check out this trailer called Extinction, which is coming out on Netflix on July 27th. And that's that's a crazy date because um, July 27th is supposed to be the, uh, what, a lunar eclipse or solar eclipse. One of those a uh, major eclipse about to uh, take place for an hour and 43 minutes in different parts of the world. And only in the United States, you won't be able to see it. So that's that's a uh, uh, that's a. Uh, a signs in the heavens, which is all written in the scriptures. But, you know, hey, the Lord say these things are about to happen. And, and if you are a true watchman, you know, you already know what time it is. The one angry called Jesus Christ, whose real name, the Hebrew Yahweh Shai, is about to make his second return. I'm going to say that again. The one angry called Jesus Christ, whose real name in the Hebrew is Yahweh Shai, is about to make his second return. The Heavenly Father name is Yahweh, the one you eagerly call God or Jehovah. He's about to send his son back to reclaim the planet Earth, which ultimately belongs to them and the children of Israel, and to destroy the so-called white man power structure, this beast system. The rest of these nations will be thrown down. And our Lord Yahweh Shah is about to make a uh, dramatic appearance in what you call UFOs. This is what this trailer is about. Okay, and, and an invasion upon the planet Earth. And this Jake right here, he's an Israelite, all right, probably from the tribe of Issachar. And this, when you watch the trailer, he's been having visions, heavy visions of prophetic event that's about to happen during his time in this movie. And people didn't believe him. And eventually what? This place got invaded. So he's a representation of us. When you watch this video, it was a normal, normal Jake going to his job every day. Got his family and things like that, man. And, and the Lord gave him a special capability of, of, of a vision. You understand? Pretty much he was like a prophet. All right? And, and guess who? And that, guess what happened, man? This, this, uh, in this movie, they got invaded, man. In what you call UFOs. But the real extinction is not going to happen to the human race. It's going to happen to the so-called white race. Who are the biblical Edomites? So ultimately, when, when our Lord and Savior return, the, all the nation is going to build up our kingdom because the kingdom of heaven is going to be on this planet, but under a new rulership, a righteous rulership. All right. And after a thousand years, of these nations are building up our kingdom, serving they, they, they all, their solitude. The only nation that's going to be extinct off this planet is the so-called white race and the elites of the society. They know that. They're trying to escape their judgment, but they can't, they won't be able to escape a damn thing. Okay? So I don't want to play this trailer, brothers. I don't want to get <laughs> flagged. You know, you brothers, check it out for yourself. So I'm going to jump right into the scriptures, man. Okay? Uh, Revelations, uh, chapter 1, verse 7. Salaki. Verse 7 it says, Behold, he cometh with clouds, and every eye shall see him, and they also who pierced him, and all kindreds of the earth shall be shall will because of him. Even so, amen. So the clouds represents what you call uh the UFOs, the chariots of, 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 of Israel, man. He's coming back in a very, very dramatic form. Okay, and that trailer breaks it down, man. See, these people in, in Hollywood, whatever, they know what's about to happen. 
the, the elites of the society, they know what's about to happen. Okay? So he says, uh, they also which pierced them, which happened in the Roman Empire. So those uh, Roman centurions that pierced them, they back here again, and they, they the Lord got some for your ass. All right? So all the kindreds of the earth shall will because of him, even so. So everybody's going to see the second return of Yahweh Shai with Michael and the archangels, man, and the rest of the angels. It says, I am the Alpha and Omega, the beginning and end, said the Lord, which is and which was and which is to come, the Almighty. All right? Extinction, Yahweh Shai's return, man. Okay? So this is going to be a, a quick lesson. This is Isaiah chapter 9, verse 1. Isaiah chapter 9. Oh, Salakia. I totally messed that up. Hold on, let me go back real quick and get this precept that I had. Or Isaiah chapter 19. Satan trying to hinder. I'm just coming out Isaiah chapter 19 verse 1 it says the burden of Egypt all right so that's gonna be a burden onto you non-believers and you heathens and Egypt is the we are in what we are in the modern day Egypt which here which is here in America so behold the Lord ride it upon a swift cloud now a cloud doesn't move swift a cloud a cloud stands still so it's metaphorically speaking for a gigantic ship, a spaceship. And shall come into Egypt and the idols of Egypt shall be moved at his presence. Because when he come through, man, he's going to destroy everything, man. Everything that's not right. People, idols, whatever you name it. He's coming through to destroy and, uh, and to redeem uh, uh, the elect of the nation of Israel. And the idols of Egypt shall be moved at his presence. And the heart of Egypt shall melt in the midst of it, man. Yeah, man. Because them laser beams are going to come out those ships and everything. Buildings, cars, weapons, armies, people. You're going to get melted. Literally, you're going to get melted, man. You're going to zap your ass into powder. Okay? Plain and simple, man. Moving on. Um, some quick, man. It just... I just saw that trill and it just sparked a, a, a that that lively stone in me, man. To, to, man, we in some beautiful times, brother. So whatever we going through, whatever you're going through personally, man, keep fighting, man. We, we almost out of here. Pray for the brothers. Pray for the elders. Pray for yourself. Pray for your household, whatever. Lord willing, we all make it out of this shithole, man. All right. This is Matthew chapter 24, verse 29. So immediately after the tribulation of those days shall the sun be darkened. So the, the tribulation is dealing with the time of Jacob's trouble, the RFID chip, World War Three. All right. So, you know, what I'm saying during that time frame, that's when Yahweh Shai is going to come back. It says, uh, it says the, those days, the sun shall be dark and the moon shall not give her light and the stars shall fall from heaven. And the powers of heaven shall be shaken because this 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 second coming of Yahweh Shai is going to be that dramatic, man. It's going to be that dramatic. He's going to cover the sun, man. It's going to be dramatic as hell, brothers. Then shall then shall appear the sign of the Son of Man in heaven, and then shall all the tribes of the earth mourn. They shall see the Son of Man coming in clouds of heaven, with power and great glory, and them, them gigantic spaceships, man. Which the armor cannot be penetrated, which it can uh, transform, reappear, disappear. You understand? And he shall sell, send his angels with a great sound of a trumpet, and they shall gather together his elect from the four winds, from one end of heaven to the other. All right? So it's all about the elect of the nation of Israel being gathered. Everybody else, you're going to be left here, you're going to get wasted, man. All right, you're going to get wasted by the missiles and the laser beams that are going to come out those ships. Now learn a parable of the fig tree, which is the branch is yet tender and put it forth leaves. He know that summer is nigh. All right. 
So likewise, he, when he shall see all these things, know that it is near, even at the doors. All right? So, hey, man, we almost out of here, brothers, man. Giving all praises to Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, man. So I'm going to end it off with Revelation 14. Start at verse 14, and it says, And I look, and behold, a white cloud. White represents purity, which is pure power. The cloud represents a chariot. And upon the cloud one set, like upon unto the Son of Man, having on his head a golden crown, and in his hand a sharp sickle. Another angel came out of the temple crying with a loud voice to him that sat on the cloud. Because he's going to be, is, you know, John was, is trying to break this down the best way he can. But he's going to be in the ship, in that gigantic uh, uh, father ship. It says, thrust in thy sickle and reap, for the time is come for thee to reap, for the harvest of the earth is ripe. So this is metaphorically speaking, mean he's coming back to kill a lot of people on this planet. Are going to be put to death from Yahweh Shai and the angels, man, and that thermonuclear missiles that's going to bombard America, man. He that sat in the cloud thrust in his sickle on the earth, and the earth was reaped. That means laser beams coming out the ships, man, blasting every wicked thing, abominable thing in its sight. Another angel came out of the temple, which is in heaven, he also having a sharp sickle. Another angel came out from the altar which had power over fire and cried with a loud cry to him that sat on the sharp sickle, saying, Thrust in thy sharp sickle and gather the clusters of the vine of the earth, for our grapes are fully ripe. All right, so that's metaphorically speaking, the vine of the earth represents you people, you nations, two thirds, man, you wicked, abominable, filthy creatures out here, man. And the angel thrust in his sickle into the earth, the whole planet, and gathered the vine of the earth and cast it into the great winepress of the wrath of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai, which consists of the thermonuclear destruction and the laser beams that come out the ships to kill you people, man. And the winepress was thrown without the city and the blood came out of the winepress even unto the horse bridle by the space of a thousand six hundred four longs so when you go into that man the space of a thousand six hundred four longs is like it represents like like 300 miles about 300 miles of death Where, wherever the lord is going to bring the destruction here on this planet in america is going to be all you're going to see is death man death all right Death, man, is coming to this place, man. This great extinction is coming to this motherfucking place, man. To the United States of America and to the whole planet. When our Lord and Savior Yahweh Shai's return, who's a so-called black man from the tribe of Judah. So with that, giving all praises to Yahweh Shai. Check out this, check out this trailer, man. We are in some beautiful times. And shalom.